Hello, today's video is on stock number 36820MI, the uh, multi-function stepper motor driver and controller. I thought I'd make a quick video show, showing you the, uh, the unit in action. Uh, let's get the quick specs. It's rated at 5 to 12 volts DC input. Uh, the voltage in is the voltage out to the motor and rated at 800 milliamps max. That, that is max. So it can drive a small stepper motor. Uh, this is not included, that's just here for demonstration. Well, let me walk you around the board first and then we'll start. This is a potentiometer to control speed. This is switch 1, switch 2. Uh, P3 here is where you'd hook up some limit switches. Uh, this is how you can get to the four different modes. Here is where your stepper motor hooks up. Uh, I can do a 4 lead or a 5 lead stepper motor. If you look at the inside, hopefully you can see that A plus, B plus, minus and uh, B minus and on the outside you really can't see it too well but uh, A, B, C, D and the fifth one is your, is your VCC for power. This is power to the board. Uh, this is controls the, uh, the auto mode function. I'll show you that here in a moment. And this controls the speed. You got two different speed ranges. You got a high and a low and I'll, I'll show that I'll show that to you here in a moment. Okay. Let's get started. Let's hook up the power. As you see, you have a little, little power indicator there. This is my stepper motor, uh, four lead. So I gotta hook it up to the bottom four pins there. Uh, the, when it has both jumpers in place, you're in uh, the first mode. Let me show you that in operation. Uh, press the S1 button. It controls it's going clockwise. Hit stop. And uh, switch 2 controls direction. Switch 1, hit it once, turns it off, turns it on. Switch 2 controls direction. Obviously you can control speed. Now let's get into the fun part. They, uh, you don't have to use these obviously, but if you want to, uh, you can hook up limit switches. And of course then we just go right on. Alright, now my limit switches are hooked up. This one will control clockwise, counterclockwise. So once the counter is going in counterclockwise, it's going to keep running until it hits the clockwise limit and reverse. So that's a nice little added feature there. All right, that was program one. Let's start with program two. Go ahead and limp switches up. And in program two, remove the left jumper. Hopefully you can see that there. Every time you change it, uh, you have to remove power and add power back. Now we're in program two. Switch one, on and off clockwise. Switch two is on and off counterclockwise. There again, let's use the limit switches. It's slightly different. It just stops until you have to start it again. This is the uh, counterclockwise. Stops it. Now I hit press button one where now it's going clockwise. So counterclockwise does nothing. Clockwise stops it every time you have to press the button again to start it. Now it's going counterclockwise. So only the counterclockwise switch will stop it. That is program two. Let's go to program three, which is called the jog mode. Now you move the jumper over to the left side and the two on the right side are, are now open. Once again, you gotta remove power, add power back. Now 
the switch one controls clockwise, but it only runs while pressed. And switch two controls counterclockwise. Now let's see what the limit switch does. This is the counterclockwise, and this is the limit switch for counterclockwise. It stops it when it hits it. But if you notice, I have to keep holding down the button, switch two. Let's switch to switch one. So counterclockwise does nothing, switch. And this one simply pauses it while I'm holding the button down. That is jog mode. Let's get to the last one. This is kind of interesting also. Actually, in this one, the limit switches don't work, so I can go ahead and get that out of the way. And that auto mode is when all the jumpers are removed, so you see all four are open. Remove power, apply power. Make sure this little pot's turned all the way down to zero. Aha. Now when the jumper is in this position, so you can see it there, that is from 1 to 200 steps. Steps, not revolutions, steps. And this is a 1.8 degree stepper motor, so you, you know, 200 times 1.8 should be 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and get it started. Now it's, it's turned all the way counterclockwise to its lowest position, that's just one step. And as we turn this up, Increase the number of steps. Get my finger out of the way. There we go. This is at the maximum. So at 200 steps. Should be 360 degrees, but it's just slightly off, if you notice. Very close, very close, though. So you have complete control through that, that range with the potentiometer. Turn it all the way back down to zero. Now, when you remove that jumper and move it over to the left-hand side, see it there, remove power, reapply power. Now, this is the tip from 200 to 1,200 step range. Go ahead and start it again. So, this is the lowest setting right now. And as we increase it, Turning it clockwise. Now when it's at its maximum, you should get about six, six revolutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it bounces back. So it will just keep repeating itself, going back and forth. You can press the button, start, stop. If you want to change direction midway. And stop. Okay, the last thing uh, is this little one right here, P, P2. You have a high range, speed range, and a low speed range. We've all this time we've been doing it in the high speed range. Let's go ahead and move it over to low and give you an idea with that. if you need to move power, if you want to control uh, at a much slower speed. This is the slow range. Let me turn all the way down. That's the slowest setting. Turn all the way up. And in, in the slow range, that is the highest, highest step rate you can attain. Start, stop. Start. Okay, I think that covers all the parts, all the functions, all the modes. If you have any questions, let us know. And thank you for watching our video.